does the future hold for both the cleaners and perhaps the independent sector? Yeah, I think it's, some people might be a bit gloomy about that, but I think there's a lot to be really uh, optimistic about and confident about. I mean, I think if you look at the independent sector generally, you know, we, we have some fantastic schools, um, many fantastic schools across the UK, as do the state, as does the state sector. So I think educational excellence is something we ought to be really proud of. I think um, I'm really proud of the diversity that the independent sector is able to display in Britain. You know, there are lots and lots of different types of school. People are often very keen to sort of stereotype us with, as one type of school, but there's fantastic diversity for all sorts of students from all, all walks of life in the independent sector. Um, so I think actually there's a great deal to be proud of. I mean, I, I think also the brilliant work that, that most independent schools now are doing for public benefit is really important and I think that that absolutely needs to be part of you know any independent school's DNA. I mean many many such schools were set up to support you know um, uh, local poor pupils um, and to support the communities and I think it's really important that we continue doing that so through bursary programs through supporting other other schools in the area partnerships um, but also as employees of, of hundreds of staff in local areas. I, I think that, that that aspect of public benefit is really important and something we, we need to promote and develop in independent schools. But I do think there's plenty to be chipper about um, in the independent sector and um, you know I, I think we've got a great future. Great. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much.